All right there, my name's Ragtag, and I'm the greatest gutter to your gamer on the face of this earth. And today, we're going to have a little chit-chat. Chit-chit-chit. Oh my god, I'm still... So <coughs> I'm still getting over my man flute. We're going to have a chit-chat about leaks. Pretty much to do with Apex Legends. Um, but we're going to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. We'll do leaks in general as well. Um, but before we do this, just while you're listening to me rattle away with all my symptoms and whatnot... Um, put a comment and type what you think about video game leaks. Do you like them? Do you live for them? Do you not care about them? Do you despise them? I really want to know how you feel about them. I will tell you how I feel as well. In fact, I'll tell you right now so that you don't call me some kind of um, dev arsehole liquor or something like that. Uh, because I, I have a very particular standpoint on them. And that is, I don't care. I honestly don't care. I don't follow people who mine stuff. I don't, you know, sit and search for these articles. But the information travels towards me anyway, probably because I'm a content creator. But, you know, also these things just blow up on the internet. Don't think that they don't. I mean, you know they do. So the more credible the source, um, then the, the bigger it will be. So when I'm sitting taking a shite and I'm looking through my Twitter timeline, that's when I tend to see it. Or on my Google customized page, you'll see... Dexter o will, you know, have something up like, Oh, the vault from Titanfall 2 is finally making its way to Apex Legends! And everyone starts going, Oh, the vault! <laughs> like... <laughs> For me, I don't care because if people leak this kind of stuff, the chances are that there's going to be a hefty wait time. I mean hefty? No, a lengthy wait time before you actually see that happening. Um, so let me just talk about the, the reason I'm making this video, partly because uh, I have nothing to talk about, but also because while I was taking that shite, I was on the, the Twitter timeline and I saw Alex, the social media manager from Apex, I'll put the thing up somewhere over here for you, and she said that misinformation and leaking stuff from the game destroys it, because it basically puts to waste months and months of work that people have you know i actually can't remember exactly what she said but you can see it there now so you know roughly what it said and that that actually got quite a mixed response not uh, i would say mostly positive mostly positive but people were quick to point out that there is a good kind of side to people lifting stuff out from a game and, and putting it in the public eye and others were also i mean i, th I think this is stretching it a bit by saying they were making comments like it's the community's job to hold devs accountable and rip out their code and see what they're up to. Um, because I think there have been cases where people have extrapolated. That's a good word. Extrapolated. I don't think I've ever put that in a sentence before, but I have now. Uh, yeah, they've extrapolated the data that suggests there was going to be microtransactions. And that happened recently with Modern Warfare. And I did shit myself when I saw this uh, on an article or whatever on the timeline on Twitter where the you know the i think they'd sorted that it was not loot boxes what was it called supply drops supply drops had been mined or you know somehow the data had been extracted and that the devs were going to be charging for them the devs then came out a few days later and said no 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 pal we were never going to do that what we were going to do is a battle pass it's a battle pass now the community over the few days of that information coming out, they went nuts. They went, if you didn't see it, I'd be very surprised, but honestly, that blew up. And people were raging, like they're friggin' furious. Did the devs turn around and go, right, uh, let's just say it never happened. It was never happening and they were wrong. Yeah, you're wrong. Right, you're wrong. We're telling you you're wrong. Or were they wrong anyway? And it was just misinformation. Wouldn't that be a terrible thing? Does the game deserve to be crapped all over because in the past they've charged you for a red dot site? <laughs> I'm a little bit salty about that one if I'm honest. One dollar for a fucking red dot site? Get the fuck out of here! Anyway, that being said, that may never have been the plan. I don't actually know if anyone knows more about this story. I'm I want to hear about it. Make a second comment. Making two comments on the video is always good. I'm looking for something to read. I've been getting constipated recently. Anyway, so, you know, I, I, I need more time to read comments. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so, anyway, so what I'm trying to say about the, the leak thing is that 
the community have a, a kind of an interpretation on whether or not it's a good thing. And if you think, well, there must be positive sides to it, Ragtag, you're not thinking, you know, you're not thinking out the box enough. I've, I've seen so many people justify why leaks are a good thing. I, I don't feel strongly about them, by the way. I don't have a, you know, I don't sit there and think those fucking data miners have ruined it again. I just don't, don't think about it because I don't take data like that and remember it. I sit and look at it and think, well, it might be true, it might be not. Maybe it's coming, maybe it's not. It's a bag of shite, who cares? That's pretty much me in a nutshell. Um, until I see a trailer of the stuff coming out or there's a test realm or whatever, I'm not interested. And that's because I don't want to sit and read a data sheet about the Vault statistics when it finally comes. By the way, devs, if you're watching, I would like the Vault to come to Apex Legends. It's a friggin' awesome gun. It's like the Spitfire and a Havoc had a baby. Maybe not, but that's how it feels whenever you pull the trigger on it. Timefall 2, friggin' awesome game, by the way. And the charge rifle was actually thought to be leaked, you know, uh, months and months ago as well. But they, they threw out all the Titanfall 2 weapons and people started speculating. And what I'm trying to say is, a lot of the leaks that were coming through were just speculations. You know, people just saying, well, this is coming, this is coming. So it's quite easy to leak something or do a deep fake and get the community all riled up. And it can be damaging, I think. But here's one of the good things, right? Oh, shit, just keep the table. Um, let's say the game sucks that you're playing. And in this particular instance, Apex Legends had uh, some stagnant moments in it this year where about a month in, my friends that had got me into it were starting to complain, saying this is shite, this is boring, this is buggy, this is blah, blah. They were right about one thing. It was a very buggy game, but it was always improving. And there were, there were moments, I think, where the month in where people had got their 1,000 kills or 5,000 kills and I'm like, just, there's nothing to do. There's, there's nothing coming. What are we doing? And Apex turned around and says, you'll get your stuff when we're ready, not before. And thought, right, well, yeah, just that's fine. Just fix your game because it's buggy. <laughs> I mean, you can punch a supply bin and get launched into the stratosphere. <laughs> so, that's all I was thinking at the time, uh, amongst other things as well. Um, I think that was more than a month in actually, the, the bugs just kept coming, but when stuff was leaked for Apex Legends, I'm pretty sure some people saw that as a positive, like, oh, wait, there is things coming, and I think that, I could correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure that one mining guy, is that how you say his name? Again, guys, this should tell you everything you need to know about how I feel about leaks, I don't know his name, I, I, I know that there is a mining guy that is quite popular and leaks stuff, and you know, I have nothing against the guy, I'm sure he's a nice guy, and I'm sure when he leaked stuff, it was it was for the good of the community, but uh, he did actually respond, by the way, to some of the comments on Alex's tweet, saying that he said multiple times that if the devs ask him to stop mining, he'll do it. That's a very, very noble thing to say for someone that has mined a crap ton of stuff about the game, and has probably gained a lot of followers from it as well. I'm not saying he's a cloud chaser by the way, I'm just saying what he's done has probably got a lot of attention for him. And that's great, great for him. But actually saying, I'll stop this, devs just tell me to stop and I'll stop. I thought at the time, I thought, geez, this dude is, you know, like super honest. And and then the more I thought about it, um, I don't doubt his intentions by the way, but if the devs did ask him to stop, could you imagine, can you imagine how many other guys would be lining up going, oh, you don't want us to look, do you? Well, now I'm really gonna look. <laughs> so, I think it's a no-win situation for the, you know, that standpoint. And if you say, "Tell me to stop," and I'll stop, um, it reminds me of Hannibal and Clarice. You know, if you'd love me, you stop. Anyway, only people who watch weird things about serial killers will know what I'm talking about right now. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I don't think that would happen. I don't think that people would stop. They're gonna keep looking. So. Yeah, I think his, his initial sort of reasonings were because the game was in a place where everyone was moaning about it. It was like, well, let's see what's coming out. Let's see what's happening. And there were some decent leaks about stuff coming up. And people did start to talk about the game. Now, the problem is, were the devs planning on, you know, like some kind of release timeline where they, they look for, um, I don't know, they're going to look to manage the servers when people start joining the game again for this new content. Um, are they worried that they're not going to get as big an influx? Uh, the hype isn't going to be enough. They're not going to get talked about enough on social media. If this stuff comes out three or four months before they planned, 
Um, the stuff that comes out might not be of the quality that they're looking to release, you know, like there may be some animations pulled out or, you know, low quality JPEGs or, you know, um, like information that's wrong, statistics about the gun, people start panicking, thinking, oh, fuck this game then. If that gun comes out, then I'm out of here. So, same could it be. <laughs> I just sort of started to laugh because of the charge rifle um, in Titanfall 2. Uh, when we were back playing that, I do remember people saying, imagine, you know, if this was an Apex Legends get, Jesus Christ, this thing takes down Titans! Imagine what it could do to a player! Quite a lot, apparently, is the answer. Quite a lot. Even with the nerfs, by the way, it's still a really powerful gun. I really like it. I honestly really do like the charge rifle. Anyway, so, um, where are we, by the way? Oh, we're at the 10 minute marker. Terrific!